Greetings everyone, BJ Weiler back with you for day 89 of 100 Days of Gaming. Playing 100 different games, streaming for at least one hour every single day for 100. That's right, 100 consecutive days, 100 different games. We have not repeated a game yet, and in addition to that, we have not repeated the game that we have officially played for any 100 Days of Gaming in the previous two years. This is our third year of doing 100. 100 days of gaming our sixth year of doing extra life and uh it's all to raise money for the children's hospital of philadelphia leading up into our 25 hour gaming marathon which will begin on friday november 2nd 2018 at four o'clock in the afternoon eastern time schedule is down below the live stream window I also have uh the the uh times and the utc times that way you can sort of Sort of figure out when we're going to be playing what during that 25 hours of entertainment. Only 12 days away. 12 days ago. $250 in of our stretch goal of $300. So we're nearing that second stretch goal. We got the bump up. Uh, we got the bump up our stretch goal uh, a couple of days ago when we uh, hit the $250 mark. Thank you to all those wonderful, wonderful donations out there. It is uh, so nice, uh, so generous, and uh, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and the kids under their care. Thank you very much uh, for making those donations so far. We're a quarter of the way through our ultimate goal. However, the ultimate goal is $1,000 as an extra added incentive. If I can get that $1,000 in before we start our marathon in the next uh, 12 days, then I'm going to dye my hair purple for the marathon. So that should be interesting to see. I hope we can get it done. I hope we can get another $750 in in the next 12 days. That would just be awesome sauce for games and for the kids, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia as well. You can donate safely, securely, and anonymously just by going to that big old Extra Life banner down below the live stream window. Or if you're watching this as a highlight on Twitch, a rerun on channel Real Millennium Group, or an upload on YouTube, check the video description. I've got that donation link in the video description, as well as some other great links uh, to check out as well, including a link to Team Judgment Gaming, uh, headed up by Battery H. Judgment Gaming for Extra Life is Battery H and myself. Battery H, the team captain, wonderful streamer in his own right, playing for the Children's Hospital of New Orleans. So be sure to check out Battery H as well at Battery underscore H on Twitch and Battery H1862 on the YouTubes. Over 500, I think we've got $556 in, if I'm not mistaken. I checked yesterday, so, uh, you know, my short-term memory losses. Uh, but, uh, yeah, over over $550, I think we got in. I have a team goal of 18 uh, 100 so far so battery h rocking them donations as well so again uh, always much appreciated uh regardless of who you donate uh to for extra life 100 percent every single penny that is donated goes uh to the uh hospital whom the gamer represents again battery playing for the children's hospital in Orleans. i am playing for chop the hospital in philadelphia we also got links to our uh, uh we got store links yes we have links to our stores we have an affiliate link to our twitch kitten store where you can buy some cool twitch kitten branded merchandise that's got a link to the twitch kittens discord you can join the discord and meet a whole bunch of great streamers and indie developers and maybe pick up a game key or two and of course we got links to our rmg gaming stores as well <gasps> Look, you can buy cool RMG Gaming branded merchandise. Every purchase helps the stream, which uh, at the end of the day helps us improve the stream and it'll help us improve uh, our uh, extra life efforts 
as well on top of that so uh good stuff so go ahead and make a purchase christmas is practically just uh, just around the corner i mean really we we've only got two months left for christmas be neat to uh pick up some cool twitch kittens or rmg gaming branded merchandise and more some uh original photography some uh digital artwork some handcrafted artwork by myself aaron and uh even some uh, words of prose which you can get on a coffee mug a t-shirt whatever your heart desires go ahead check out those links and uh support the stream and support extra life today so where are we at today day 89 we've got portal 2 last week last sunday we did uh the original game which uh which was the first time i played it and uh it's cool i mean it really i can see how how the uh, it, it became one of the really really top rated games because it's just fun as heck to play here we are the sequel we're going to pick it up uh with Chell and i think uh, things are a little bit different here because uh, instead of the companion cube we actually have uh, a companion robot or something which uh journeys through the levels with us this time but uh, again first time i've played portal 2 and uh, we'll see how we do. We'll see how we go for this next hour or so. So let's rock and roll. Single player today. Thank you. Oh, hello. Thank you, Ms. Cracker Jacks, Aaron DeBelge, and Ryan Gads for the hosts. It is, as always, much appreciated. All right, so let's bump this up a bit here. I don't think it's my system. Everything seems to be working right with my system, but... Uh, yeah, task manager didn't start so that didn't uh, look good. Come on, come on, we can do it. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, system. Ah, my system always seems to want to act up when I need to do the stream. Yeah, see, task manager it isn't even opening right now, but uh, yeah, come on. I might just I might just have to restart the game here. All right, let's do that. Yeah, see, I can't even do that. All right, so let's do this. Oh, come on! There we go. Thank you, Task Manager. Thank you. All right, there we go. Now she's loading. That's all I had to do. Control Alt Delete fixes all, I think, right? <laughs> all right, she's rocking and rolling here. So let's see how things look here. I do want to bump this up anyway. So now they got Task Manager open. Uh, portal 2, here we go. We shouldn't have too many problems with it. There we go. Okay. Regulations. All testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Okay. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. Okay. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Really? Okay. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Not a bad looking picture though, you I'll tell you. I kind of like that. Reinvigorated. Yes, you indeed. Staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance. Reflect briefly on this classical music. Now, please return to your bed. Oh, E. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> that, that, that was a pretty, pretty interesting tutorial there. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Any test subject Are you going to open the door at this time? At any time? To have exercised his or her Hello? Remain in no. Relaxation for the Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Regarding this policy, or I'll just open the door. What the heck happened? Hello, friend. Why not open the door? Write us a letter. Ha! Ah! Oh, God. You look... Um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? What? Are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. 
Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. What the heck happened? You know prepare. It's all fine. All right. This place is a disaster. Don't, don't, I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Uh... You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Can't open the door. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've few been months. under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, oh. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Yeah, kind of. Reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, no, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh... Just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be? Can I the open the door? And finds 10,000 flipping vegetables. Alright, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks... Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. You go hide in the closet. Well, that's not the closet. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. Oh, hello. Uh, you got that. You got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. All right. Off you go. Down there? Go you on, me just march on through that hole. Really? Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead. I know, I know. I have painted quite a grim picture of your chances, but if you simply stand here, we will both surely die. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. There we are, there's Chell.
Wow, this place is a wreck. Based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing cause this emergency, don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. Really? the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Like that, eh? Back in Aperture Laboratories, are we? If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh, lovely. This place is a mess. Push the button. How about this button? We gotta get the cube first, don't we? Yeah. And then open that, eh? Alright. Of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Hmm. Ain't much to look at out there now, is there? Hmm. Well, I guess we ain't got much of a choice now, do we, Chell? Is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. 
Annual King Takeover? What? Alrighty then. Can't pick any of this up, eh? should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. I, I, I would say... Oh. oh crap. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Ah, uh, no. Also, are you alive? That's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. <laughs> in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Oh, is that it up here? Well, what the heck's going on here? Oh, lovely, fantastic. Hey, look, that's me. Oh, the companion cube. Fighting GLaDOS. That's me. Guess it doesn't matter where we create it, huh? But this is this is only the blue portal gun. We need the dual portal gun. We're too far away. There we are not, huh? Doesn't work on the floor. Works there, eh? Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured Fabulous. that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. There I am. Do I actually have shoes on this time? 
That looks like it. Oh, it looks like we got an upgrade to our little uh, harnesses there, eh? Nice. All right. Let's rock and roll. All right, how the heck? Oh, hold on. There we go. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Really? Alright, here we go. Thank you, Ultimate Dave Live, for the host as well. Much appreciated. This next test is very dangerous to help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Smooth jazz will be deployed in three. Two, one. Really? Take that, Glados. Oh, hold on. down here yep all right so we got to get there we're an old hand because at this, this message you know? is recorded any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part please disregard any undeserved compliments <laughs> really? Oh, are you serious?
As I say, that didn't work out too well. All right. It's a cat. No, he doesn't want to pick it up. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> oh no, not that one again. I kind of didn't expect that. Alright, so let's see. Uh... Oh, we fell out of there, didn't we? Oh, it's over there. Oh, wait a minute, let's do... Uh, how about we hit this, eh? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we gotta get over there. How the heck am I supposed to do that? Yeah, it's kind of what I thought. There we go. That worked. That worked. I was planning on just going over there, but I didn't have to.
I wonder if it originally it was supposed to fall there. Well, where'd that companion cube go? Uh, oh, I see. It just disintegrates. Interesting. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, be careful, please. Uh-huh. I thought so. Well done. The Thanks. Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Oh, really? Why do we keep going down? Why are we going down? Why not up? I don't understand. Hmm. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, the physics do not apply in the future. God help you. Lovely. Oh no, do we have to fly again? Well, there's the companion cube anyway. Well, uh, we do have to go through there, eh? Alright. Whoa! Well, that didn't work out too well. Oh, hold on. Pick it up. Oh, hold on. Let me do this first. We gotta fly with it. Alright, there we go. Next. Us. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Thanks. Oh, here we go again, huh?
Oh, Lucifer. Well, let's give it a shot. I guess we need to go that way, huh? So I guess I would need to throw it right there. Hopefully it landed over there, because we're next. Oh, there you are. gotta go there is what you're telling me all right here goes nothing good work getting this far future starter thanks said, if you are simple-minded old or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing <laughs> yeah. Arson, hey yes it has been a while Welcome to the stream. I haven't seen you in like forever in SHK. Thanks for joining today. Or, well, tonight. Whatever the case may be. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Really? Okay. Okay, hey, now. Hi, hi. What? Oh, oh. oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, I did. Do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Come on through! And. Hello. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. I am not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> no, you're not. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. What stick? Oh, that stick there. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? Really? Oh, well, you're gonna really wait for me to turn around. I can't, I can't do it. Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open while your back was turned. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. Pick and off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is <laughs> okay. Go wherever we want. Just Hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just 
follow the rail actually. <laughs> One fifteen here. I've been up in five and a half hours. Not in SHK for months. Looking to find a psychiatrist. More folks saying I should talk to a doctor because I sound depressed. Oh, well, that's not good. Well, I hope you're. Hope you're not feeling depressed. Sounding depressed is one thing. Feeling depressed is an entirely different matter. Oh no. Yes, hello, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello. Can I crouch? Let's crouch. Okay, we'll just keep moving. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I know, oh, SHK is, is uh, I don't want to say it's slowing down. We still got the usuals uh, there, but it's been quiet. It's been quiet. Let's put it that way. Had an issue with a rogue about a month or so ago, but, uh, through her chamber. but otherwise, eh, she business as usual. If, if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So, uh, who, Gladys? If you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Right now. No? Okay. In case you thought to yourself, I've missed the window of time to voice my reservations. It's still open. Sludge. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Are we actually outside? There she That's is. A what a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly. I oh, it's Gladys. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A Me. human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently, this human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a uh. long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened, and then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. Gladys, you're done. And so where the heck am I going here? Oh, follow the arrows, right? My guess is bipolar. Two down to care to get a doctor. Or two up to feel the need for one. Probably best go speak to one if my boss is telling me to. Yeah, that, yeah, that, well, yeah, if your boss is telling you to, that yeah, might hey, come in handy. Stairs. Yeah, bo bipolar could be, uh... Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, Could you know be, what? Uh, uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Yes, Although no that. braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. <laughs> so do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note: no braces on your spine either, so so don't land on that. Um, or your head, no braces there. That could that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, so do definitely focus on landing with you. Oh, I can't drop him. I can't drop him. Quick question: Have you been working out? Because I'll be honest, there's no. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You did... That's a great job. You've applied the grit. <laughs> We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah, uh, stairs to nowhere. But yeah, well, it's good to see you anyway. And hopefully things aren't too bad. I mean, there is meds for bipolar disorder. I'm trying to think. Um, I think I had a boss once who may have been bipolar. We suspected was bipolar. Ah, I I just, like, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. I prefer the companion cube. It was much quieter. This 
is the main breaker room. Oh. Let's go in. Okay. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something, oh. it doesn't say escape pod. Well, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Uh, Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. No. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn <laughs> You're like the strange girl robot, yeah. <laughs> Let there be light. That's ah. uh, God. He's quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh -oh. <laughs> Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, Great, okay, you powers up Gladys. I'll just, I'll just hack. It's not a problem. A A A A A. Um. A A A A A C. Wait, did I do beat the jar pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. Nothing wrong. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh oh. Uh Oh, no, 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 no. oh, no, no, oh, no, oh I lost no. the gun. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. Oh, just lovely. just one small thing we need to take care of first. You monster. I know, yeah, she, she sort of wrecked him already. Uh. Oh, that didn't happen. Oh, lovely. Fantastic, that. Ooh. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful lovely. not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. Fabulous. The portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Fabulous. Oh, there's companion cubes, uh huh. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving here. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should Excellent. be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Oh, that's a bit of a fall.
That's better. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Fabulous. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. Oh, I fabulous. Able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. Fabulous. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Where the heck do I go now? Oh, this way. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back with me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Really? Fabulous. Fabulous. You look for the curious little ball? I don't know. From what I understand in this one, we are actually supposed to have a, a companion the mess. with I us. I let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. Oh, I'll start Jesus. getting everything else working while you perform oh, this first no. test. Which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Fabulous. Oh, I see. Oh, hold on. Okay. Hey, it worked. Look at that. I don't know. She, she kind of wrecked the uh, little ball robot. Can I get up there? Hmm. Oh, hang on a minute. There we go. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. Not that good. We have a lot of tests to do. Ooh, what was... Thermal discouragement beam. Really? Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Undiscouraged, okay. Another achievement. Hmm. Okay. This Rock next roll. test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished really? building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Okay. Take that. Oh, uh, there it is. I assume. Oh, look at that then. <laughs> All right, let's take this thing and go. I think we have to line it up with that, don't we? I think this redirects it, doesn't it? the other side. Interesting. Okay. I guess I need to go get another one. Well, that's a problem. Second, I hold on. So we got to put it on the floor, and then do that.
There we go. Well done. Thank Here you. Come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible <laughs> person. We weren't even testing for that. Fabulous. Well, sounds like the visitors have arrived upstairs. So that'll have to be our last one. That'll have to be our last puzzle. I'll have to say thanks for joining me tonight, Arson Shard. Good to see you again, Don't too, by the way, my friend. Hopefully you can stop so back in... Uh... It's just a data point. Okay. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Yeah, nice. Thanks for joining me tonight, Arson. Hope to see you in uh, Stronghold Kingdom sooner rather than later again. Uh, be sure to stop by and say hi to everybody. We all miss you over there. Thank you, Aaron D. Belge, Ultimate Dave Live, Ms. Cracker Jacks, Skipper, and Ryan Gads for the hosts. Also much appreciated. Once again, everybody, you can uh, help support the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia by making a donation. Get us to our next stretch goal of $300 by making donations safely, securely, and anonymously at big old Extra Life banner down below the live stream window. Or again, if you're watching this as a highlight on Twitch or an upload on YouTube, check the video description. Lots of cool stuff there, including uh, that donation link. But uh, links to our RMG gaming store. You can pick up some cool RMG gaming merchandise. You know, I have a chance to join again. See you're up on the 25th. Yes. Yes. Our, yes. As a matter of fact, Arson, uh, Arson is correct. Our 25-hour stream in 12 days, a Friday afternoon, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. The schedule is down below the live stream window for that. Again, uh, times aren't going to change. Maybe change a game or two. Um, I'm still debating on uh, some uh, our retro games, maybe our indie games. I might uh, change them for something else. But uh, the time-wise, uh, that's pretty much uh, how we're going to run through everything there. But uh, thanks for joining me, Arson. Thanks for all the hosts out there, everybody. Thanks for lurking, and thanks for watching. It's BJ Waller saying, until next time, until tomorrow, day 90, it's, it's coming up fast. Coming up fast. We've got 89 streams in, 89 games. Well, have, let's see, uh, 11 more to go. 11 more games, 11 more streams to go before that big old 25-hour marathon on November 2nd. Anyway, thanks, Arson. It's good to see you again. Hope you're feeling good. I don't want to say feeling better. I hope you're always feeling good. And, uh, yeah, go see a doctor. Can't hurt. Even though I have problems going to see doctors myself. myself. I, I, I tend to shy away. I have... What, what, who, who, uh, who told me? Oh, I think it was my vet. My vet actually, uh, told me when I had taken one of my cats there that, uh, animals will sometimes get, uh, what do you call it? White coat syndrome. Turns out I have that too. And it's sort of, they, they get all anxious and, uh, nervous and the blood pressure goes up when, uh, they go see the doctor. Hey, that's me too. But, uh, gotta be up in five hours anyway. Yeah. Have a good sleep. Have a good rest. Thanks for swinging by. Much appreciated. It's good to see you again. And, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll see you sooner rather than later. In the meantime, thanks everybody till tomorrow. I'll see everybody in game.